Wow. It's so important mm. for us to submit, submit to the uncomfortableness okay. when we're in the will of God. If you have a surrendered and a humble heart, you are in the will of God. You will hear him. You will listen when the word is released to you. You will hear when your spiritual parents speak into your life. Amen. You will say, I'm in the will of God. They'll say, your heart is pure. And you'll say, okay, my heart is pure. I'm going through. And the Lord says, yes, you are. So Lord, you walk me through the fire? <laughs> yes, I will. Because he says, I'm the fire. Amen. I'm the fire. Become one with the fire. Just become one with the fire. The throne room is filled with fire. You know that, right? Have you ever read that? The throne room is filled with fire. Just become one with the fire. Let the cause of the fire touch your lips. So your lips only praise God. Even in the middle of the storm, praise you, Lord. I give you joy. I give you praise and glory, Lord. Even in the midst of the persecution, in the midst of the uncomfortableness. No, I'm not laying on a hammock sipping iced tea in, in Fiji. But you know what? I'm going through the fire. I'm awake at night. I'm doing videos. I'm, I'm preaching the gospel. I'm getting up. I'm praying for people. I'm ministering. I'm spending time before you. I'm listening. I'm learning. I'm listening. I'm learning. I'm getting old wine out and new wine in. I'm, I'm submitting myself to the fire. And I'm growing because I'm your child. I'm your child and you've invited me into this revival. And I'm so grateful to be invited to the table of the Lord. To be invited to the table of the Lord. There's no weak people at the table of the Lord. No dropouts. No. Those who came through and then their garments were, were purified. Every time you go through a fire, every time you go through a test, you get more glory. You get more anointing. You get more revelation. You die another death, but you get another resurrection. Somebody looks at you and says, well, you're like 20 times resurrected. Oh, you better believe it. And the glory keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And your humility grows. And all you think about is God. All you think about it is people. All you think about is loving him. All you think about is loving his people and ministering to his people. And you become consumed with what consumes him. Hallelujah. You become consumed with what consumes God's heart. He says, when you come into my fire, you're going to get my passion. You're going to get my intensity. And you're going to burn out all pride and all jealousy. So you never have to become jealous of a servant of the Lord. No matter how high, no matter what their position is, never become jealous. Because if God has put them in that place, they've died many deaths. For you. For the gospel. For the gospel. Amen.